Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. After coming into college as a wide receiver, the journey to becoming the go-to guy at tight end hasn't always been easy for Malik Carr. He's only played the position for two years, and last year he had a split time with Daniel Barker and Tyler Hunt. But as our Haley Schoengart learned, he is becoming more comfortable with the position this season. I first want to start off with your performance Friday. The big tight end uh, in position, Evan Morris, 92. Go the other way, corner, Carr, it is. Tim, he may have gotten that inside foot down. Touchdown! Uh, we work on it a lot. Like, if a DB tries to square me up one-on-one -on, -one on the corner, it's easy for me to get leverage, just put my body in the way and box him out, usually. Uh, to getting the foot down, I don't know. Dude helped me holding my leg up, so that helped a little bit. And to catch it right there with Jaden Reed and Kenneth Walker all right there on the sidelines. You could see you were celebrating and you could see they were celebrating. What was that atmosphere like when you pulled the ball down and knew that you got in the end zone? Honestly, it was fun for a second, but my legs started tightening up. I, I, I had to get up. I ain't like that. Hamstring was tightened just a little bit, but you need to go sit down for a second. Coach Gilmore said that you were now a complete player. You just had to learn how to block. That was the one thing he really wanted you to kind of work on this past off season at fall camp. What was it about blocking? Uh, I'm a very like lighthearted guy, like as far as going on the field. So it's harder for me to be like be serious and mad. And blocking takes that sometimes. And that's how I learned how to um, just like control anger and go out on the field and use it. How do you channel kind of that anger when you know you need to go out there and block? I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. I'm still usually like smiling until I get to the line. Once I get to the line, everything gets serious. And then after the play, I'm back to smiling. You said getting to this point where you are now as a tight end has kind of been a three year process. Looking back, what are you most proud of? Just me pushing through and like having the patience to actually see myself get to this point. Looking back when you first came here, what would you tell that Malik? Sometimes it's OK to be mad. Like make plays, but sometimes it's okay to be mad and go block and go knock somebody out if you need to. Your mom's a talented lady. Peggy Evans, see if the third time's a charm here. Miss Basketball, when did you start playing football with her being Miss Basketball? Your dad's the head basketball coach at Grand Valley. How did two basketball junkies create a, a football player? Um, in reality, like it was it was through basketball I learned about football. Um, I was at the YMCA playing against this boy named uh, Abdullah Muhammad. Uh, that's one of my day one. Shout out to him. Um, his dad came up to me and my mom talking about football when I was about six. And we went over and we started playing for the Southfield Ravens. And everything else started from there. Malik the Freak <laughs> is your nickname. How did that one come about? Okay, so about 10th grade, we're in high school playing. Like this, I can't remember exactly who it was. It was some reporter kept writing articles about me, kept calling me a freak athlete. My friend Bishop called me, started calling me that. And the rest of my friend group started calling me that. And I just took it and ran with it. And well, obviously worked out a little bit. And you, you might be Malik the freak, but you're also Malik the fashionista. You break out some of the coolest and most unique outfits. Example A, your Spartan Walk outfit, the gold glasses, what went into that? I've never bought like my own glasses before until like about two months ago, like right before. I was going to Miami, and my dad said, he says something all the time, he said, you gotta live. And so, I went and spent the money on the glasses. It hurt my pockets a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> I had to buy them. What are some of your favorite stores to shop at? Personally, I'm cheap. I don't like spending that much money. So, send me to H&M. I like shopping on Sheen. You can look at your Instagram, and it clearly looks like you enjoy putting together outfits. How long have you been interested in fashion? To me, it's not really fashion. I, I'm really scared because my mom used to uh, get on me if I didn't match. So now, like, just matching, like, I, I don't like leaving the house without matching. My mom, my mom don't like that. She don't like it. Do you text her pictures just to make sure before you leave the house? No, I got a pretty good idea now. Despite scoring a touchdown in the season opener against Central, Carr was not pleased with his performance due to all the drops he had earlier in the game. And similar to Mel Tucker's word of the week for the Spartans, he is hoping to improve in week two against Richmond. As for Tucker, we learn more about what he wants to see against the Spiders coming up. This segment is sponsored by MSU Healthcare.